as bad boy will be replacing. We'll be replacing it with this LeBron double socket and it's got a USB drive charged USB points to it. So cheers to the guys at Active Electrical who got some really good pricing on this LeGrand series gear which looks far nicer than the old uh, 600 by PDL. Right, yeah, first thing you want to do, well, the second thing now that we've cleared the area, is whack that cover plate off. Give me a second, I'll be back to do it. Now, you want to be careful because some, uh, most painters are bloody assholes and they fucking paint these onto the wall. So, it might pay to get a Stanley knife out and just cut along the edge here. Well, if you've got a tiny enough tip on the screwdriver, that's not going to be visible on the paint. On the wall, I should say. Be bloody careful. Because you can't peel the paint right off the bloody wall. Oh, that's alright. That wasn't even painted on. Right, next thing. Flick her on. We'll uh, get the multimeter out, set it to volts, and make sure it's on volts AC. So I push the mode button, turns it to AC, and then we plug her in neutral in first, and then that unlocks that side. So if you try putting this one in first into a socket, see it's not going to go, but if you've got the neutral in and then push it in, It'll go on and the slice up saying 230 volt. Now we'll go flip the uh, power off in the switchboard and kill the circuit. Alrighty, easiest way is to just whack the old main switch off. What? Expect big wear. If I can get this done quick. Uh, yeah, sorry, shouldn't have pulled that out. Just make sure you meter read 0 volts. You can see the old uh, LED indicator's gone off too. So that's good. If you're really unsure, check out my Proof Test Proof video. Uh, that might help you a bit. And if not, get a spark in to do it for you. So whack it off the wall here. This is my left hand screwdriver, that's why it looks like this. Same goes for the painting. This one's definitely been painted on. It's going to rip the wallpaper, isn't it? Just be careful, eh? Better to use a Stanley blade. But, um, mine's out in the work van, so I'm not going to bother walking all the way out there to get it. Yuck. No insulation the ones there. It's gonna to have to be insulated. Right yeah. First thing we do. That terminal's out, we already know it's dead. This here looks pretty awful. Looks like I had a hack job at it. going to do is strip a tiny bit off and terminate these how I would terminate them. If it was a new house. Twist it up a wee bit more and fold it in half. Same for the next one. and the earth. For the sleeving just slide it off a wee bit, clip a wee bit off, 
slide it back on and fold her up again. Then you suck it, take the plate off, screw the other side. Membrane A is for your red cable, colour coded on this one. E is earth and N in here is for neutral. Now this USB socket is built into the socket itself. You can get ones where that's a separate mech and there's a different way to wire those in. Um, before you put them in as well, you want to make sure that this here is going to fit in the wall. Um, and if it's not, then unscrew the flush box and move it back. If it's a nailed one, you can pinch the nails with your side cutters. Pinch on it, squeeze and just lever, lever them out like that. Good technique for doing it. Alright, so whack the cables in. And then uh, make sure you don't pinch down the insulation when you put the screws in. And smash it back into the wall. Throw the screws back in it, put the cover back on, you're right. There we go. And give it a test. Same thing as before, throw it in bolts. AC. Fire the neutral one in first. And then phase, make sure there's 230 volts there. Good. And then of course you can test the USB one out. Throw any USB in it, see if it charges. Test the old charges going. Perfect. Cheers guys.